On this day, November 29, 1948, in the presence of Australian Prime Minister Ben Chifley, the presentation of the first car entirely manufactured on the green continent took place. The production of the Holden 48215 FX car was established at the General Motors Holden Automotive Plant in Port Melbourne, where they previously assembled cars from complete knockdown, CKD, kits of Chevrolet, Book, and Vauxhall brands. The Holden FX was offered as a four-door sedan, a three-door van, and a two-door pickup ute. The latter body type gained widespread popularity in Australia in the following years. The car was equipped with a 2.2-litre six-cylinder gasoline engine with a power output of 60 HP. Paired with a three-speed manual transmission, the car could accelerate to 129 km per hour. By 1956, 120,402 cars were produced. In total, cars exclusively under the Holden brand were produced in several generations until 1984. A total of 3,330,401 units were manufactured, including those for export. Afterward, the company shifted to producing Commodore family cars. As for the genuine Holden, it is worth noting the cars of the last, fifth generation, 1971 to 1984, of which a record number of 485,650 units were produced. The HJ series is noteworthy featuring a massive chrome radiator grille in the style of Cadillac. Quite a few of these Cadillacs were produced 176,202 units. One of such cars, in a utility configuration, was photographed by the correspondent of Autocenter on the streets of Melbourne in 2010. Unfortunately, on the 31st of December, 2020, the Australian automaker Holden ceased to exist.